Happy Thursday, March 28th, everyone. Hunter here at Weather on the Go. And in today's weather forecast, we'll be looking at your Easter weekend forecast with temperatures, precipitation, etc. And also looking ahead to a potential severe weather outbreak across the United States into next week. We'll get you what you need to know with that and a very early look at your total solar eclipse forecast moving into April 8th, 2024. We'll give you those details later on in today's weather forecast. If you are new here to Weather on the Go and you like detailed but accurate weather forecasts, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also the like button down below. It helps out more than you know. So let's look at our temperatures. As we head out the door for today, you can see more spring-like temperatures with the yellows and oranges and reds down here across the central and the southern plains and down near the Gulf Coast. Still hanging on to some cooler weather across the north especially where we did lay down our recent snowpack across the upper Midwest and into the upper Great Lakes region. Temperatures up there will remain much cooler this afternoon and a cooler air mass across the Northeast down into the Mid-Atlantic states as well going through today. But let's watch as we go into Friday tomorrow on the 29th, those spring-like temperatures will try to move further to the north, at least getting to the lower Midwestern regions such as Iowa, Missouri, Missouri into Illinois and Indiana with those warmer temperatures for Friday and looking at our precipitation to end the work week as well very dry high pressure across portions of the center of the country we have a couple storm systems on either side of the country here one across the west bringing us some heavier snow in the higher elevations of the pacific northwest also down here into the sierras coastal rains there across the west coast and coastal rains across the east coast as we go through today boston new york city down there even into the norfolk region seeing some pretty heavy rain as we go through today. Going into tonight, some of that rainfall will stretch up there again through Boston into Rhode Island there into Connecticut, Long Island and eastern New Jersey. We'll be seeing some heavier rainfall going through tonight. Then as we go into Friday, that will change over to snow across portions of Maine into portions there of eastern Massachusetts including Cape Cod and Nantucket back into portions there of Rhode Island going into Friday. And then Friday night, another weak system moving over top of that high pressure ridge where we start to see more rain and snow mix across the upper Midwest and into the Great Lakes. Really not looking at any meaningful areas of precipitation, but still some lighter rain and snow. So let's look at our total precipitation in inches through Saturday, March 30th. Heavier precipitation here across the eastern seaboard and you can see these areas from Maine back here into Massachusetts all the way down here into portions of Delaware, New Jersey, getting into Maryland there, down into portions of eastern Virginia, eastern North Carolina, widespread one to three inches worth of rain taking you into the start of the weekend and looking at our snowfall prospects. While they're not looking grand out there, we definitely have some decent snows out west, especially for those ski resorts in the Rockies the Sierras getting hit very hard with feet of snow going through your Saturday time frame. So definitely seeing that snow piling up for those ski resorts, most importantly, out west as we go towards the beginning of the weekend. Now, taking us into a very important weekend. This is Easter weekend. You want to know what your temperatures are like? Well, more spring-like temperatures across the south central U.S. from the central and southern plains stretching east through the southeast, still hanging on to a cooler temperature regime across the northern high plains, the upper Midwest, and across the Great Lakes into north the northeast Saturday the 30th into Easter Sunday the 31st of March and then as we go into early next week, that spring-like air mass will slowly drift from west to east and we'll start to see a below normal temperature air mass start to make its way across the desert southwest through the Four Corners region and into the western plains early next week on April 1st on Monday and April 2nd on Tuesday. Let's look at that. We turn our attention back to the west as we go into Easter weekend here. Another significant trough will be making its way into California and into the Four Corners region, and that trough will be positively tilted as it moves further east across the United States early next week to begin April, and it's going to come with a volatile environment as well. So let's look here first 
at your Easter weekend forecast. Here's your Saturday, March 30th time frame, a weak system up across the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, rain for the Ohio Valley, and some snow for portions of the upper Great Lakes. This does not look like a total washout, so don't go canceling any of your plans out there, but a more significant trough though, moving into California, very heavy snows for the Sierras there, some of the heavier snow moving into the central Rockies, up there into Wyoming, Utah there, and even Nevada, but very heavy rains across Los Angeles, San Diego, and the Santa Barbara region into southern central California on Saturday. Going into Easter Sunday, we're starting to see a warm frontal boundary that will move its way further to the north into the Midwest and Ohio Valley. South of that boundary, near the Missouri, Iowa, Illinois state lines there, we'll have to keep an eye on some stronger storms as we go into Sunday afternoon and Sunday night for Easter Sunday. But there's that main low off to the west. That's going to have the main lift with it. Lots of heavy snow in the Rockies. Big snowmaker there for Easter Sunday. And let's look at our precipitation amounts going through that weekend time frame. You can see from the Ohio Valley through the lower Midwest, Illinois Valley, back through the northern Missouri Valley there, Iowa, back into Nebraska, we're seeing some decent rains there. And then very heavy rain, Los Angeles, San Diego, Santa Barbara, those areas possibly seeing over two inches worth of rain this upcoming weekend. And the heaviest snowfall and the cold air mass associated with that will be back out to the west. So the rock back into the Four Corners region and the desert southwest, the Sierras in particular as well, seeing some pretty healthy snows going through this upcoming Easter holiday weekend. Then as we go to start April, now April starts to ramp up our severe weather season in a big way and man will it do that this week coming up. We do have some stronger dynamics starting to move in as we go into Monday, April 1st. And looking at this, there is likely to be a warm front draped across the Ohio Valley here in the Midwest. South of that boundary, we're watching for surface-based thunderstorms. And then that where you could see surface-based cape, convective available potential energy, otherwise known as instability, growing south of that warm front. So if we have storms tapping into this environment south of that front where it's warm, where it's moist, where it's unstable, we could start to see a line of some supercell thunderstorms from the Ohio Valley right along that warm front. We need to keep an eye on that. Ohio and Indiana know that well from our last couple of events. We need to keep an eye on that warm front here and how those storms interact with that on Monday, but also the cold front with this system. Across the Missouri Valley, back into Kansas, Oklahoma, and North Texas, we'll have to keep an eye on those severe storms on Monday. Then as we go into Tuesday, this all shifts slowly to the east, but still the cold front hasn't cleared the southeast United States, so we still have the surface base cape, your instability here along and south of that warm front. The lower Ohio River Valley, the Tennessee Valley into the southeast there, and that's where we'll line up some more strong to severe storms as we go into Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. So officially, the Storm Prediction Center's outlook here for Monday, April 1st has a large yellow zone here. This is a slight risk of severe weather, a level two out of five already, several days in advance from Indiana and Illinois down through Missouri here into eastern Kansas, into Arkansas, Oklahoma, and North Texas here. So from around Indianapolis through St. Louis towards the Kansas City region, back towards Little Rock there, Oklahoma City and Tulsa, all the way down into the Dallas-Fort Worth area there on Monday. Then that shifts east on Tuesday, April 2nd, to cover more of southern Ohio, southeastern Indiana through Kentucky, Tennessee, northeastern portions there of Mississippi, northern Alabama, and perhaps far northwest Georgia here, places like Nashville, Lexington, up towards Cincinnati and Louisville as we go into Tuesday. As we go into Wednesday, that system is still with us, but it's starting to weaken as it pushes further east. Definitely watching for some colder air at our disposal from southeastern Canada right there for interior New England to take advantage of and turn that rain over to snow for Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, also into upstate New York on Wednesday. But looking at our precipitation amounts with that system, Monday, April 1st through Wednesday, April 3rd, decent warm frontal setup for some heavier rainfall tracking over the same areas. That's what we call training of thunderstorms. And we could have some decent rains from Pennsylvania back here through West Virginia 
through Ohio and Indiana, back into Illinois, into Missouri here, and then even stretching back into the central plains of about one to three, maybe even four inches worth of rain during that three-day period, Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday next week. And that could set up a flash flooding threat here. The Weather Prediction Center already predicting a marginal risk for flash flooding potential Monday, April 1st into Tuesday, April 2nd, really across the Ohio River Valley, back through the land of Lincoln and into portions of Missouri during that time frame. Now looking at snowfall, not looking at a big snowmaker for any of us in the middle of the country, but we're keeping an eye on interior New England here away from the coast up into Maine and Vermont, New Hampshire, maybe northern Massachusetts, into upstate New York, and even southeastern Canada there around Montreal could be seeing some decent snows going into early next week. We'll fine-tune that as we do get closer. But as we end next week, still the active pattern will continue here as we have another storm system, Pacific Northwest, heavier snows in the higher elevations, more heavy rain across that region. That storm will stretch across the upper Midwest, bringing some snow, some rain as we finish off next week on Friday, April 5th. Looking here at the long range forecast for your total solar eclipse, I know a lot of people have been asking me questions about our cloud forecast, temperature forecast for that. Let's look into that just briefly here as it's still 11 days out, so there's still a lot of unknowns here, but let's look all the way through Wednesday, April 10th. That's right into that range because Monday, April 8th is definitely in the range here. And you can see above normal temperatures can be favored in that area of totality, but we also have an above normal precipitation forecast for that. So definitely watching this. And right now it is next to impossible to predict cloud cover during the 8th of April, as it is only still the 27th, 28th timeframe here of March. So it's still a long ways away, it's still 10, 11 days. So we need to get a little closer before we go out and show you the cloud cover forecast and all that. We will be doing that as we do get closer into next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like detailed, accurate weather forecasts here on Weather on the Go, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below and spread the word. Also make sure to like the video, give it a thumbs up down below. Definitely appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Thursday out there.